Uh, well, I thought uh, he may. I thought he got fouled, and I thought he uh, made a great play. Um, but they challenged it, and they overturned it. It, it just, you know, it's a strange play because we we lose the two points, and then we lose the ball, right? So that just kind of it, it puts you in a, a difficult situation, you know, coming down the stretch. And unfortunately, they overturned it, and then it becomes their ball. Which, um, which is kind of different, but it's the rule. What did you think about the way the Heat played in the last few minutes? And I guess what did you really notice from his body language or his command of the game? He kind of stepped into that star role when he might have seen DJ kind of take, take those possessions. Yeah, yeah, I think KP is comfortable where he's at right now. Um, being able, to, we're playing through him early and often, and uh, he's he's stepped up uh, again. I think you bring up a very good point late in the game. Um, he was able to, uh, you know, command the ball. We found him, and, and he converted. And even the, I think the shot that he missed, he had a great look. Um, he normally makes those, but th that's what you want late game when the game is close. Uh, is your is your star player stepping up? And I thought KP did a great job tonight. How did you think Maxi was? I thought Maxi for the twenty uh, one minutes or twenty two minutes. I thought he was good. He was really really good. Yeah, due to my medical uh, experience, uh, I will be able to give you more information tomorrow. It takes me a little bit longer to digest the the, the body, so we'll see uh, tomorrow and give you a better answer to that. But I know he was sore. So that's all I know. I can tell you. I Sorry, no, no worries, no worries, no worries. Uh, he was a game time decision. He was out there warming up. Uh, he'll will. Go through practice tomorrow and, and see how he feels, and hopefully he can go Tuesday. All right, All right. Um, Eddie. Oh. Jason, uh, defensively, you guys have, have actually looked pretty good. Uh, but why? Are, I mean, I guess the obvious answer is Luke is not there, but it, it's <laughs> been really hard to score, uh, especially against a good defense. It feels like the Clippers without him on the floor. Yeah, you know, I think. Um, We've had some good looks. Um, we had, I thought we had a lot of great looks at threes that just were short tonight. Um, for whatever reason, a lot of our, our jump shots were short. Um, but there in that fourth quarter, um, when things weren't going well, uh, I thought we improved, uh, almost scoring 30 in that quarter and giving ourselves a chance to win on the road. And so uh, I think it just will make us better uh, once Luca comes back. Uh, but we don't know when that, that is. So we got to play with the guys that we have. And we're putting ourselves in a position to win games. It's just we can't get a stop at the right time or we can't make an open three. And, and that, that'll that happen uh, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, Landon, go ahead. You'll be the last one. Hey, Coach. Uh, Reggie Bullock um, has struggled um, shooting the ball this season so far, shooting 26% from three the past 10 games, and then tonight zero points. Have you had conversations with him about putting him Spots to get more overlooked. Yeah, you know, uh, I think when you look at Reggie there late, you know, being able to set the screen and and um, and causing a problem, um, even though he's not shooting a high percentage, he still causes a problem uh, with when we have the ball. And you know, I think as a shooter, sometimes we start fast, sometimes we start slow. And Reggie's getting good looks, and we've told him to keep shooting them. Um, we we truly believe he's going to make them the next time he takes them. And here when we play on. Um, Whenever the next oh, Tuesday, uh, we believe he's going to make them. How'd they play? I mean, it feels like he's in there. Uh, it's okay. Um, obviously, like my conditioning is not there, rhythm is not really there, but you know I feel fine right now, so that's the most important thing. Do you have any particular concerns going into the game? Not the right now? Um, concerns as in health. I mean, yeah, obviously you don't want to get hit at the same spot, maybe, but. Um, I mean, our, we have a really good training staff, so they take good care of me. And, you know, they wouldn't give me the green light if not everything wouldn't be, uh, would be okay. So I wasn't that concerned, actually. What does this depth look like these last few days through the ramp-up activity and kind of trying to make some ways to get back? Um, so I, was, I could be I – I was working out for a while already, but I just couldn't do, like, quick explosive movements. So I just started doing it, like, a couple of days ago. Then we tried a little bit one-on-one um, -on -one, um, that we slowed down. And then, you know, yesterday we played a little bit of pickup and it actually felt a lot better than three days ago. And then we made the decision that I'm um, good to go and we give it a try.
keep saying anything in particular and actually what you guys have to do is turn this thing around. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously we want to have Luca back, um, but you know we have enough um, power to win those games. It's been three games now that have been very close. Um, you know, I think one big important thing for us is to balance our shots better. You know, especially when we don't make shots from outside, um, including me. Like we got to get more into the paint and, and balance it um, more. That we just, and we have to stop just shooting threes and, and attack the basket more than. Jalen, what did you see on the play that got overturned? Um, I don't even know. I thought I uh, didn't really touch them, but I mean, clearly they didn't see that. So on to the next one. How big was that play? Though? You guys have got them two points. Uh, it kind of was uh, would have put us in the one possession game or kept us in a two possession game. So with the turnover. So I mean. It's a big call. What did you see out of Max with the Uh, most importantly, he's back on the court. Um, looks like he's moving good. Um, he's probably gonna, he'll be fine. Um, just happy he's back out there, and um, contributing as much as he can. And what did you think of the way that Chris Stapps, What did you think of his body language there late in the fourth quarter when he kind of tried to take control and, and fill that spot when you needed? Yeah, um, KP, uh, he looked great. He uh, he was a force. Uh, he was able to get to his three spots, and um, he just he looked he looked really good. And um, I mean, he he was he was great. Uh, I just wish that myself and um, us as a team, we could have helped him a little more to help win this game. Uh, he he carried us for a long time, so um, yeah, we we got to do better as a collective. He's been a leader even when he's here. Um, KP is uh, he's vocal. Um, I love communicating with him, uh, seeing what he likes, what he doesn't like. Um, KP is uh, he's great. He's someone that uh, he loves to you know, work on himself, work on his game, uh, make sure his body's right. Um, he's someone that just. Loves loves this and loves what he does and um, loves to help a team win. Okay, thanks, Jalen. Yeah. Oh wait, sorry, sorry, Eddie. Eddie, go ahead. Um, oh, thank you, uh, Jalen Brown. Thank you for the time. How tough is it to to get to the point on the board with losing Luca and Jalen not on the court and it did seem like you struggled for like it's a pretty good defensive team for a few four, three quarters, but then maybe figured something out in the fourth. Yeah. Um, I think uh, when I mean, you're missing one of the you know top five players in the league, uh, it's definitely a game changer. Um, that's the first thing, and uh, I just think we kind of play with a little bit more sense of urgency in that fourth. Uh, we kind of believed that we could win that game. Um, we kept fighting. Uh, uh, things happen or don't happen, and then um, ball doesn't bounce in our favor. So. Um, we're going to keep learning. It's, it's still a very young season, and um, I think everyone's in the same boat when we say that we want to get better, we want to sit together, we want to keep fighting. Okay. Thanks, Jalen. Yeah. Thank you. JP, how frustrating is it when you see that play by Jalen gets overturned? It could have been a two-point game with just two seconds. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's – that was a tough one, yeah. Uh, good call on their part, you know, to um, challenge that. And then the one I missed before too, we were down one. No, we were down three. I missed the kind of easy, easy hook shot. And then they scored on the other end. They were up five, I think, right away. So that uh, that one also kind of hurt. Uh, but yeah, plays you know towards the end that we could have could could have could have went in a different way. How difficult is it trying to win games when you're shooting twenty percent from three point range? Yeah, tonight we definitely didn't shoot the ball well from outside. They shot it a bit better, I think. Oh yeah, they shot it good, forty-one percent. Um, we had some decent looks. Um, I felt like I rushed a couple. Um, I think we all just kind of were a little bit out of rhythm from from long range, but yeah, that that would have helped for sure. But it was pretty jarring the way you were playing down the, in, in the fourth quarter. You know, being close to the central part of the offense, as compared to the last time you were in this building. Um, 
just wondering if that dawned on you at all and it was something that you just wondering if that what it, it, i was just wondering if that dawned on you at all if, what if does that, that mean don uh um, like j did you just realize yeah did you realize like just how funny it is or, yeah like, yeah no know? what a contrast right yes yeah, yeah exactly. you know, so um but yeah um I'm, I'm grateful for the support staff staff that we have around us you know the coaches and and everybody giving me confidence and you know i think i'm 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 i'm, I'm being effective down there you know for for not only scoring, but also uh, getting my teammates involved. Coach says you really stepped up late into the court and to manage the ball and really were there for your team tonight. How would you describe your performance? Yeah, I would agree. I think with each game, I'm feeling more and more comfortable. Um, my teammates are finding me in those mismatches, and I'm trying to take advantage of them. Um, yeah, but as I said, I'm, I'm grateful for, for my teammates and, and for my, you know, for the coaches around me. Obviously, I put in a lot of work, and try to find ways how I can be a better basketball player, but um, but I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for, for the support around me. What did you see out of, out of Maxi today? How good was it having back? It was good. It was good to see him out there moving well. Um, I think he, he didn't look out of, out of rhythm. Um, yeah, we're, 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 we're happy to have him back. And, you know, now Luca, hopefully we can get him back as soon as possible. You know, that will also be a big difference maker, obviously. So, um, Hopefully, as soon as possible, we can all be back together and, and, and playing the playing the best basketball this season. What was your mindset there in the last three or four minutes when it was very clear that you were the guy that the offense was going to close the game and you were going to get those those touches and touchdowns? Yeah, yeah. I felt honestly, I haven't felt like this for a while. Uh, last time I can remember, it was probably New York. Um, so I'm still getting in a rhythm, you know, and, and seeing how to. Just, just, I don't know. Like without thinking, playing without thinking, you know. Almost, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm not there yet, 100. Um, percent But once I get there, I feel like that's when I'm really gonna uh, feel comfortable in every situation, see everything, you know, take my time on every shot, and everything will just fine tune. And, and I think that's when, I, that's when I'll be even more effective. Okay, we'll do one in Spanish and then call it. Go ahead, Pedro. Thank you, Chris. Buenas. Buenas. Sí, a ver, los tres partidos han sido contra equipos de, de alto nivel. Uh, Phoenix, que es uno de los mejores par um, equipos de la liga. Y ahora Clippers también, que están... Tienen un récord parecido al nuestro. Eh, estos partidos son muy apretados todos. Um, igual que hemos perdido los tres, hemos podido ganar los tres. ¿sabes? Ahí es una cuestión de, de ejecutar los detalles bien, eh, hacer todo lo, todas las pequeñas cosas bien y, y, y ahí al final pues es, es algo muy, muy apretado. Y, Bueno, no, no, estos tres partidos no nos han salido como queríamos, pero vamos a seguir trabajando y a ver si encontramos eh, nuestro juego y, y, y ganamos el, el siguiente partido.